right. If you have a pillow, grab it. Um, or two even. With Ian, you can never have enough pillows. Um, so grab some pillows. And our starting position for today yeah. is just to elevate yourself onto your hips. Crossing your legs, having a pillow underneath, and starting to lengthen through the spine. So try and find a comfortable position. And close your eyes here. Bring your hands onto your knees. And allow your palms to face down here. And take a full and deep breath in through the belly, expanding that belly, bring the breath in up towards your chest and your collarbones. And with a soft exhale, let it all out through your mouth. Inhale again. Filling everything up. Exhale, let it go. Do that a few more times for yourself. Deep breaths in through the nose and deep exhales out through your mouth. With every exhale, you allow yourself to soften a little bit deeper. to ground and to relax fully into your hips, your legs and your shoulders. And just give yourself a moment here to really feel and observe what's going on for you, how you feel physically and how you feel mentally. What sensations do you feel in your body? And what thoughts are running through your mind? Without trying to judge yourself or change anything, You're just observing whatever is happening on the inside is enough to keep you present. You're welcoming yourself here on your mat or your rug, or whatever you're on. And giving yourself permission for the next 60 minutes to be fully present here in the space that you're in. And realizing how special it is are all in different spaces at the same time connected. And today's practice is going to be all about letting go, releasing any thoughts or feelings or emotions, any patterns that are not serving us anymore. And a lot of that stuff is stored in our hips. So today is gonna to be all about hip openers working into the fascia, the connective tissue in our hip area. So if you want to set yourself a little intention for your practice today, maybe something came up when I mentioned the words letting go and releasing. What thought or what feeling or which pattern is not serving you anymore? 
that you may need to let go of. This is a beautiful time to create space because we have time and space. And just take a last deep breath in that through the nose. And a deep exhale again through the mouth to let it go with a sigh. And with that exhale, you allow your intention to flow into your space here and to guide you through your practice today. And our first pose for today is going to be a folded butterfly position. So you can slowly open up your eyes, coming back here. <clears throat> and then you start to release your legs. You're going to bring them into a butterfly. So soles of the feet come together. Knees fall out to the side. You have an option to stay into your pillow, so I prefer to keep it underneath my hips. So I'm better able to tilt my hips forwards, but you're free to take it away. And just slide your feet a little bit out, so they're not all the way in. You slide them a little bit away from your body. Now, if you feel this is very like intense on the knees already, feel free to bring pillows underneath. But if you're good here, then bring the hands into the ankles or maybe the shins. Take a deep breath in to lift the heart space and lengthen through the spine. You keep your chin slightly tucked. And with an exhale, you gently start to walk your hands forwards, allowing the body to fold over. You're free to round your spine here. And to let your head be completely heavy. Give it a good shake. And if you have another pillow available, you can bring it underneath your head or to support the belly, the chest here. Feel free to use whatever you want to use. If you want to feel supported and you want to find a place where you can be for a few minutes. So start to breathe deeply through the belly. Lengthening through the spine with your inhales. And letting go into the hips with your exhales. And staying focused on your breath. Observing what's going on in your body here in this pose. You may start to feel it in the outer edges of your legs. Into the hip area, the groin. Or maybe you feel it into your lower back. And we're working on this hip area today because the hips are the place where we store a lot of our emotions and our feelings. There are two main, let's call it systems in the body that we use in the end. It's the nervous system and the myofascial system. And the nervous system responds to thoughts and everything that happens, experiences in your life. And those neural pathways that get created because of those thoughts and experiences are connected to the fascia, which is all that connected tissue between your muscles, your bones, your ligaments. And those neural pathways, they send messages to the fascia, 
to that connective tissue. And then that way, your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions get stuck somewhere in the body. And the hips are the place where we have most of our fascia and where it most easily gets tight. So we hold a lot of stuff there, especially women, but men as well. Giving yourself five more deep, soft and slow breaths here. At the end of your fifth breath, just as slow as you can go. Maybe keeping your eyes closed or soft at least, you rise all the way back up. Bring your knees back together really gently, maybe with some help of your hands. And then come off your pillow if you're still sitting on top of it. Bring it out of the way. And gently roll over onto your knees, coming into a tabletop position. And from that tabletop, you straight away bring your knees out as wide as your mat. Outer edges of your mat. You're going to bring your big toes together to tuck in the back. And you soften your hips down into your heels. And again, you're free here to do it without any support. If you prefer some support, grab that pillow again. Slide it underneath the belly for support, and then just start to lean over, allow the chest to soften. You may bring your head, your cheek onto the ground or onto your pillow. Allow the hips to sink down completely to fully relax. Now walk your hands out a little bit further and then soften into your elbows. Full relaxation. starting to notice here for yourself when you are holding tight in your hips. Are there any muscles that you didn't even realize that you were engaging in this pose? So allow your focus to be fully into that hip area and notice where it feels tight for you. Where do you feel the tension? And if you don't feel it, then how can you go a little bit deeper? Can you bring your knees out wider, sink the hips lower,
Catching your mind here as well. Where was your mind wandering off to? And what thoughts are coming by? And is there a same thought that keeps being repeated today? Or are they all different? If you have your head on one cheek, then you may want to change it up to the other side, choosing the other cheek, just to balance out the neck here halfway. And if your pose is getting slightly too intense, maybe, then feel free to slide the pillow all the way underneath the hips so the hips elevate just a little bit. But if you're still feeling good, then stay where you are, or maybe even go a little bit deeper. Doing a full body scan here, maybe, while we're here. Noticing every part of your body, from your fingertips, over your arms, your head, your back and belly, into the legs, towards the toes. And noticing where you can relax, where you can soften more into your body. Allowing gravity to pull you down towards the earth. Just three more breaths. And then gently start to press into your palms. Walk the hands in just a little bit. And then softly start to lift the hips up away from the mat or your pillow. Take the pillow out of the way again. Knees come back into center, coming into that tabletop. Trying to keep your eyes soft, or maybe even closed. Spread your fingers here. Hands are stacked underneath the shoulders, knees are stacked underneath the hips. And just a little bit of a basic cat and cow flow here to roll through your spine. So inhale to arch, cow. Exhale to round, pull navel in, chin to chest. Inhale to arch, open the heart. Exhale to round. Connect your movement with your breath. Inhale, arch. And exhale. Just keep that going with your own breath. You may want to add some hip circles. Some rocking forwards of the shoulders. Just to create some more space into the body wherever it's needed. So feel free to close your eyes and go free flow. In any direction that your body is asking for. Can you find the edges? Those corners that you usually don't really get to. Super soft and super connected. And if you want to go a little crazy for you in class, feel free to just for a few more breaths, tuck your toes under and shoot the hips up for a downward dog. Just creating some space in the body before we go into our deeper stretches. 
Pedaling the heels a few times, bending to the knees. And then when you're ready, come back down onto the knees. And then slowly from here, start to make your way down onto your belly all the way. We're going to go into a pose that I personally really, really love. It's called Spider-Man. So the name already does it for me. <laughs> So what you're going to do, you're going to fold your hands underneath your forehead as a little pillow. And when you're there, laying on your belly, you're going to slide your right knee up towards hip height. So the knee is at the same height as the hip. Your ankle, your right ankle, comes also in a 90 degree angle with the knee. And your toes turn out towards the right. And that's all you need to do. So you just allow your head, once you're there, to rest onto the hands and then release into the pelvic floor because that's what this pose is all about. Releasing into that pelvic floor, into that right hip side. Not a super deep stretch, but it's one that gives you space while in here a little bit longer. So try to focus on releasing into the lower back. Letting go of any, any tension there, whatever you're holding there. Letting go fully into that right leg. And allow those hips to melt completely down towards the earth. Feel your belly against the floor. While you breathe in. And see where you can get heavier. Full of gravity. What little sensations can you pick up in that right hip area? It's nothing much, it's nothing heavy here. But there's probably something happening. Allow yourself to really feel into it. And to observe those tiny sensations. Two more breaths. And when you're ready, slowly slide the right leg back down to meet the left. And then shoot your arms just behind you as well. So you're laid fully flat onto your stomach. And choose your left cheek to lay your head down. And get yourself as heavy as you can. Softening shoulders. Hips even more. And notice what's happening or what differences you may feel between your left and your right side. After that pose, that Spider-Man. And when you're ready, you'll go over to the other side. So we bring our hands back underneath our forehead, folding them like that pillow, resting the forehead down. 
and then starting to slide the left knee higher up, open towards the left, hip height, the left foot is aligned 90 degrees with the left knee and you turn your left toes out towards the left. And then again, allow that left hip to sink and soften. Again, using your exhales to relax into it even more. To let go little by little. Two more breaths. And then slowly come back into that, let's say rebound position, sliding the left leg back down to meet the right. Slide your arms back behind you as well and lay down onto your right cheek. Right cheek touching the mat, keeping your eyes soft. And give yourself a deep breath in through the nose. And a deep exhale. Let it out. Again, checking in with your body. How does it feel? What sensations? Maybe going around now on the left side. And from there, slowly bring your hands back underneath your shoulders and gently press up through the hands back into tabletop. And from tabletop, tuck your toes under. Take a deep inhale through the nose. And with an exhale, shoot your hips up for downward facing dog. Press the heels a little bit deeper if you can. And push the floor away with your hands. And then with your next breath in, you're going to lift your right foot off the mat and step it forwards in between your hands. You drop your back knee down. You bring your right hand on the inside of your right foot, walking the right foot a good step out towards the right so you have a bit more space. Coming into dragon, so for dragon you've got a bunch of options. You can stay exactly where you are with the hands on the inside <coughs> of that leg, of that foot. You may want to come hands onto the thigh if you want to have it a bit more active being straight up. Or if you want to go deeper into the hips, you can come all the way down to the full arms. And if that comes just too deep, feel free to grab a pillow or a block if you have it and bring the forearms all the way down onto it. So settle in, take a moment to find a position that works best for you, where you can sort of release into the hips here. This is a slightly active pose because you need to keep yourself up in some sort of way, but you want to be able to let go into the hips, <clears throat> melting the hips forwards and down. And once you've found that position that works for you, where you know I can be here for a few moments, 
And just take a deep breath in. And with a sigh, just settle into your pose. And stay. Finding that inner stillness. And just one more time, take a deep breath in. With an exhale, can you melt a little bit more? This is definitely one of those deeper hip openers where stuff may come up. Frustration is usually a big one to come first. So just observe whatever is happening for you, how you feel in this pose. And if it all just comes too easy, if you don't feel any stretch, then allow your foot to walk a little bit further forwards and the hips to melt deeper forwards and down as well. Where can you soften? And where can you let go into the hips? Take a final inhale. With an exhale, gently come back up into your hands if you were down onto the forearms or in any other position and take the pillow or block out of the way if you had it. And from here, you're going to heel toe your right foot all the way over to your left side. And from there, you drop your shin down for a sleeping swan. So in a sleeping swan, <clears throat> I want you to listen carefully because the last thing we want is that there's too much pressure on the knee. You do not want to feel any sharp or weird sensations in the knee. So be mindful of that. So you want to create a position, ideally with the shin parallel towards the front side of your mat, but that's not available for most of us, including me. So my shin is about a 45 degree angle. Your right knee is pointing to the outside of the right hip, so it's not directly underneath the body. You open it up. And then you walk the back foot as far back as you can. So you really sink deep down into those hips. You start to feel it straight away into that right glute. And if there's a lot of space between your right glute and the floor, again, take your pillow, bring it underneath for support. Now, once we're there, you have options here too. You can stay here if this is already deep enough. And you're free to come down into full arms. You're free to take another pillow underneath the belly to fully relax into it and make it really comfortable. Or you just come straight down all the way into your belly if you have that space. So again, take some time to settle in. You want to feel a good stretch into your right glute. Not too much because again, we'll stay here for quite a few minutes. You want to be able to be there and stay there. Focusing on that sweet spot into that right hip. where you probably, most probably, will feel a good stretch right now. Allowing yourself to breathe into that space where it feels the most tight, using your breath to create that space on the inhale and to allow it to settle with the exhale. Allowing whatever needs to come up emotionally here to come up. This is one of the deepest 
hip openers that we have. So make, your, make sure that you're supported by those pillows. And then you can relax into it. Taking three more breaths and allow those inhales to go deep down through your belly. And see if you can let go even more with your exhales, knowing that you're almost coming out of the pose. And gently come back up into your hands if you are down. Slide the left foot in a little bit more so you can tuck that toe again. Lift the back knee and just very gently step your right foot back into down dog and pedal it out a little bit. So you give that right hip the space that we just created. Just make any movement that feels good for you right now. And then when you're ready, from that down dog again, we'll go over to the other side. So you're going to take your left foot off the floor with your inhale. And you step it all the way forward in between the hands on your exhale. Dropping the back knee down. Bringing left hand on the inside of left foot. Walk the left foot a little bit out towards the left. And then see if you can take the same variation as you did on the other side. So you may have just your hands like this. You may have them up on the thigh if you want it a bit more active. Or you may have them all the way down to the forearms. So find your way again. Find your variation and settle in. Let's take a few moments to do that and to find that, <clears throat> that space, that position where you can stay for a few minutes. Allowing the hips again to melt forwards and down so we're not cheating by being too far up or anything. You really want to melt them deep down and forwards, feeling the stretch into the left hip area and the right hip flexor. I'm going to take a deep inhale through the belly. And with a deep sigh, settle into your pose. And allow that space into the hips. It's never our physical body that's holding us or keeping us from getting into a particular pose. It's always the mind. So when we're in this pose, maybe come back to your intention or maybe anything that came up throughout the past few poses. What is it that you need to let go, that you need to release? Can you focus on that particular thought or emotion while you're here? Allowing it to flow out of your body with your exhales.
noticing where you can relax in the body. Your way you need a little bit of effort to keep yourself up. Melting deeper and deeper with every breath. Three more deep inhales and deep exhales. At the end of your last exhale, gently come back up into your hands if you were down. And then slowly start to heel toe that left foot. Same thing, over to the right for your sleeping swan. Dropping the shin. And again, finding that good angle for the shin where it doesn't create any weird sensations into the knee. You want to make sure that that knee points to the outside, of the outer edge of your mat. Walk that back foot as far back as you can. Square your hips and maybe use a pillow again to support underneath that left hip if you need to. And then options, try again to, stay, to uh, choose the same variation as you did on the other side because we're always trying to balancing out the body. So either you stay into your hands or maybe you came down to the forearms. Maybe you came all the way down to the belly with or without the pillow, you choose. And feel free to take a moment to settle in properly. This is a deep one, so make sure it doesn't go too deep straight away. You can keep it for a few minutes. Use your breath. And stay connected to the breath. And noticing maybe any difference between your left and your right side. One is always more open, more flexible than the other. It's human. So it may seem symmetrical on the outside, but on the inside, we're anything but symmetrical. If you think about the way all those organs and muscles and bones are connected through that fascia, it's very logical that there is an imbalance. And these poses tell you a lot about your body in that way. Where that imbalance takes place, how it manifests, and which side, maybe your strongest side, and which one is the side that always shows up first when only for <clears throat> anything is wrong. <clears throat> Three more breaths. And again, see when you can let go a little bit more into it, knowing that it'll come out soon. And when you've had your three breaths, again, slowly come back up into the hands, tucking your back toe under. Lifting the knee up and then stepping back for a very short downward dog, just again to walk out that space into that left hip. So open up to any sides, make any movement that feels good, that your body's craving, but do it slowly and mindfully. And 
And then bring the knees all the way down towards the mat again. Tabletop. Our next pose is shoelace. And that is a, quite a deep one for me as well. So I would definitely keep a block close or a pillow that you have within your hand reach before we go on. And then from there, you're going to begin by sliding your right knee, let's say in between the hands. That right foot opens up towards the left side of your mat. Then the left knee slides behind the right knee. And the left foot goes over to the out, the right side of your mat. Now from here, this is where you want to bring your pillow in. Underneath the hips. And you sit yourself back. Maybe you don't need that pillow, you can take it away. <clears throat> but what you want to create, and I'll show you from the front, is a position where both of your sitting bones are down into the earth, grounded, so we're not hanging on to one side. We're sitting both the hip bones down. <clears throat> Our knees are stacked directly one on top of the other, and your feet, the tops of the feet touch the mats and roll out to the side. So if that is too heavy, you want to elevate those hips with a, a block or a pillow, maybe even two, that's totally fine. And if this is even too heavy, which would be completely normal, you can extend the leg that's underneath so that it will be your left leg. You can extend that out and just keep the, the right leg on top. This is the deepest, not per se even the hip, this is the outside of the groin, it's the top of the groin that we're opening up here. <clears throat> and it's a really, really deep one. So settle yourself in any way that feels good for you. And then once the legs are set, you have options as always for your arms as well. You can stay here. For me, this is actually enough. So me sitting here for three minutes is already enough. If you want to take it a little further, you can also start walking the hands out in front of you and folding the head down towards the knee. Or you can even take it further by interlocking the hands behind your back. Fingers come together to add a shoulder stretch and then allow yourself to fold. So quite a few options, choose what feels best, don't overdo it. And then soften into that groin area using your breath. This is one of those positions where you feel probably a ton of sensations going through the hips, over the legs and towards the feet and the toes, maybe even the lower back. There's no right or wrong, everybody's different. It's just a matter of observing what's going on for you. And when you feel those sensations, what that brings up in your mental and emotional bodies as well. Can you allow your breath to breathe through it? Can you relax your upper body, shoulders and face? Three more breaths. And now really slowly, <clears throat> bring your hands behind you so you can lean back a little 
And with that, release your legs. And that feeling is always amazing. <laughs> Stretching your legs out. And give them a good shake. Maybe flopping the feet a few times from side to side. Anything that feels good. Maybe some windshield wipers. And then as always, there is another sight. So slowly make your way back into your tabletop position. Because from there, we're gonna to go to the other side, setting ourselves up in the right way. So we're gonna begin by bringing or sliding the left knee in between the hands. The left foot plays to the outer edge, the right outer edge of your mat. The right knee slides behind the left knee. And then the right foot goes as far out to the left side of your mat. Now again, from that position, knees stacked on top of each other, feel free to take that pillow back underneath the hips or sit yourself straight down into it. So observing here, checking here again as well that both your sitting bones are down into the earth and that your knees are stacked. If it is too intense, feel free to extend the right leg out this time and take only the left knee over. So the tops of your feet are into your mat, not the sole. So take the tops of the feet, grounding both sitting bones onto your pillow or the ground. And then take the same variation with your arms. You may sit yourself just straight up like this. You may walk your hands forwards and folding. Well, you may interlock the opposite hands in the back, grabbing a hold and then fold. Wherever you are, use your breath. Settle and find that position where you can stay for a while. Yin is all about stillness. The moment we start to move, even the slightest movement, we lose that connection with that connective tissue, that deeper layer within us. So stillness is everything here. And again, it's always our mind that's blocking us. In most cases, it's not the physical body. It's that connection over neuro pathways. with our fascia. That's why the power of the mind is so important. If you feed yourself, nourish yourself every day with positive and good thoughts and feelings, that will resonate and manifest somewhere in your body physically. Where can you find the softness right now into your hips? Into your legs and into your upper body. Two more breaths. Let go even more if you can. And then again, gently bring the hands behind you so you can lean back, release the legs, extend and softly shake them out. Noticing any sensations in the legs, how good it feels to let go from that pose, it's a big one. And then from there, just slowly start to slide yourself down onto your backs. 
Hugging the knees in towards your chest, giving yourself a good squeeze and a bit of a roll over your lower back. I'm finding our last pose for today already. Happy baby. So you're going to bend your knees, open them out as wide as you can. Bring the ankles stacked on top of the knees and then grab a hold of your feet from the outside. Bring the elbows on the inside of the knees so you can gently open the knees a little bit further out. And then allow your tailbone to lengthen into your, come closer to your mat. So you're lengthen through the spine. Shoulders are down into your mat and your head and your neck are down into your mat. Take a deep breath in through the belly. And with an exhale, try to soften your body here. The only thing that's working is your hands grabbing your feet. The rest, can you let it go? Finding the space in your inner thighs. Super soft into your shoulders. Relaxing the muscles in your face. And feel free if that feels nice for you to extend your legs out and come into a laying down kind of straddle variation. And then slowly bring your feet back together, knees back together, hug the knees in. And just a really quick last twist here. So drop your knees over to your right side. Open your arms out wide and bring the gaze over to your left hand. Close your eyes. Keep your shoulders soft. See if you can keep both shoulders down into your mat. If your knees don't fully touch the mat or that left shoulder comes off, then bring the pillow underneath the knees or in between. Deep belly breaths here. Allowing to squeeze all that bad stuff out of the liver. Twists are always amazing for your liver. And just notice gravity pulling you towards the earth into two opposite directions. Take a last breath in and then slowly come back to center with your exhale and straight away dropping your knees over to your left, your gaze goes over to the right. <clears throat> Bring the pillow over to your left side as well to elevate the knees. If you can't keep the knees together or if the right shoulder comes off the mat. And allow your breath to stay as deep and so as you can. Taking a last breath in and then come back to center. 
And going into your final shavasana here, so maybe wear something warm or cover yourself with a blanket and then stretch your legs out. <clears throat> Bring the feet as wide as your mat. You may even, if you like, Bring a pillow underneath the knees to support your lower back a little bit. Keep the arms out nice and wide, full surrendering. The weight of your body into the earth. And just take a final deep inhale here through the nose. And with your next exhale, you let everything go. <sighs> Observing what's going on in your body, and especially that hip area. What's going on there? What sensations do you pick up? I was the type of person that held on to things too tight, unable to release my grip when it no longer felt right. And although it gave me blisters and my fingers would all ache, I always thought that holding on was worth the pain it takes. I used to think in losing things, I'd lose part of me too that slowly I'd become someone my heart no longer knew. Then one day something happened. I dropped what I had once held dear, but my soul became much lighter instead of filled with fear. And it taught my heart that some things aren't meant to last for long. They arrive to teach you lessons and then continue on. You don't have to cling to people who no longer make you smile or do something you've come to hate if it isn't worth your while. That sometimes the thing you're fighting for isn't worth the cost and not everything you'll ever lose is bound to be a loss. And with those words, just slowly start to move your body any way you like, mindfully and gently. Maybe bringing your arms all the way overhead to give yourself a good stretch. And then hug your knees in towards your chest. Rolling over to your right side. And allowing yourself to lay on your side in that fetus position for just another breath or so feeling supported by the earth, connected with your own body, and a little lighter. And with your eyes closed, make your way up to a seated cross-legged position. Bring your hands in front of your heart space, prayer position. Bow your forehead down. 
Take a deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Allowing your practice to wash all over you. And noticing what you may have let go, what you may have released, the way you may have created space. And bring your thumbs towards your third eye, your forehead, bowing down. The love and the light in me honors the love and the light in you. Namaste. Namaste, everyone. Hope you guys are all right. Tell me how you feel. Everyone okay? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah? Ready for good. bed? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, as always, if you have questions or comments, feel free to text me or to stay on here for a little bit longer. That's totally fine, of course. Um, I hope you feel all right. Drink. Um, on the one hand, a little bit of water, but not too much because we're almost going to bed. Um, you don't want to be peeing all night. Um, but have a good sleep. Take it really, really slow and easy on yourself the rest of your night. And I hope your practice helped a little bit to stay connected with your body in these crazy times. So. I wish you all an amazing evening and thank you for joining. I'm teaching again on Sunday morning, um, Easter, 9 a.m. It's going to be a slow flow. Easter, Easter. So I hope to see you then. Okay. Good. Right. Thank you. See you later. Thanks.